Hello, thank you very much. Good afternoon. I hope you are all awake after this lunch. Uh, I'm going to present the Spanish Hub. Uh, the, the Spanish Hub is coordinated by IRSI Casa in collaboration with Foundation La Casa. And we have two Hub members. One is Fecit, who is present here today with us. Uh, and the other one is COSTE, which is the Confederation of Science or Scientific Societies in Spain. And we are all working together to promote RRI in our country. When we started talking about it with the different stakeholders, we have realized that what works very well is not to start with the concept, because at this moment the concept is not widely renowned, but what we try to do is to start talking with them about the relationship between the science and innovation system and society. And we feel that people have realized that this relationship is changing. So we are now at the moment of transformative change. And we realize that, for example, research institutions are opening new outreach departments. They are hiring new people into these departments. And this activity, this sort of activity is growing also from science museums. Also, we are seeing a lot of crowdfunding activities. We have, for example, one going on on TV, which is uh, very famous. It's all one day crowdfunding activity for research. So we see that there is uh, a change in the way people are collaborating with science. Uh, we also see that the culture of collaboration is uh, outside the science and innovation system. Uh, for example, we all know websites where we can share uh, our house, for example, in the summer. And the, the tendency toward collaboration is a social innovation fact at the moment. However, within the science and innovation system, it's not still very uh, settled. So the, the sorts of activities that I mentioned so far are deficit model activities, as we all know, and we have to move now from this culture of collaboration to put it into the science and innovation system. I was just uh, uh, talking with my colleague uh, from FECIT now, and he was informing me that yesterday we had in Spain the publication of the Public Understanding of Science uh, report, which is annual, where they do a very good study about the perception of science and technology in our country. And this is the first year that in Spain we see a majority of people thinking that society should participate in decision making in science and innovation. So it's a 53% of people who said, yes, uh, we should participate in this sort of decisions. And it doesn't mean that the rest of them said no, because there are also other uh, the people who didn't answer the question. So we see that we are happy that this is a good moment to start uh, promoting even more this culture of collaboration and therefore responsible research and innovation. So we have uh, been very happy to be able to organize two workshops within our hub, one in Madrid and another one in Barcelona, where more than 25 Spanish institutions were involved, and we could see how the culture of RRI was already in some of these institutions. It was not called RRI, but we could see people explaining us a lot of citizen science projects, for example, or for example, living labs. Spain is the country with more living labs in the European network of living labs in Europe. So we see that the, the culture is there, but we need to spread it much more to all other institutions and, and to make sure that all the stakeholders are incorporating it because we have realized that they are mostly promoted from industry and from the scientific community, but not from all the scientific community. So more is definitely needed. So from our hub, we are going to, to start doing uh, public events that will have a previous session uh, for, for a forum of exchange of, of know-how between the members of the hub. But afterwards, we will open these events to, to wider audiences. We have already started doing a lot of training, training for educators and also training for scientists so far. And we are talking with other stakeholders to partnership with them and to also do training for other stakeholders. We will, uh, and so we have started the advocacy plan, but we will uh, reinforce it in the near if nearing future. And for us, what is also very important is what we call to preach by example. We believe that if we are now to start this community of practice to help other stakeholders to start doing RRI, it's very important that we as an institution 
believe it, and, then, and therefore we start doing more RRI than we were doing since now. So uh, in the last uh, slide, I will present you the two projects that we are running from Irsi Kasha in collaboration with uh, Foundation La Caixa, uh, that I, I will explain them later. But now I leave the floor to Josep Carreras, uh, my colleague at Irsi Kasha, who has been in charge of doing the interviews of the different best practices that were identified during the workshops. Actually, we identified more, and they will be on the website that Ciencia Viva has prepared, but today uh, Josep is going to present four of them. Hello. Okay. So as you will see in this map, uh, they will appear all the practices that we have gathered during our workshops and we have found more prominent to present here. So to start with, we have uh, found some educational programs like Explore Health. Uh, we have also found some projects uh, which promote the open democracy, such as an opinion which has been wonderfully presented by Ilse, <laughs> the coordinator. Um, we have also found some technology assessment initiatives in NERI, for example, which is a project coordinator, uh, coordinated by Ciencia Viva, and also in IRSI Casa, which Rosina will explain later, a uh, community advisory committee. And, well, they are appearing uh, randomly now, but <laughs> the thing is that we have also identified participation in research citizen science, so uh, institutions which are very keen on promoting citizen science, meaningful citizen science, so it means not just making people gather data, but also participating in the decision-making process, and also an uh, initiative which promote open innovation and gender balance. So, for example, gender balance is the one you, have see, you could see in the, the south, which is Gymport. Uh, okay. okay, now they are appearing slowly. <laughs> so let's go into deep uh, with the six best practices that we found more applying to RRI. Uh, RRI definition also uh, provided by uh, Athena Institute, for example. The first one is an open innovation and citizen participation project. Uh, it was focused on the food packaging sector and what was innovative was uh, how they recruited the participants, which was through uh, the Spanish Organization of Consumers. And then uh, the main purpose was to turn citizens into drivers. So they would envisage and imagine which kind of food packaging they would like to have. And they met and decide. And then it was divided into different rounds. So in the first round, there was researchers plus uh, citizen science uh, plus uh, citizens plus um, industry. And then they exchange ideas. And then in the second phase, which was only close to industry and researchers, they tried to study the feasibility of these projects. Unfortunately, these projects run out of funds, so it couldn't make the third step, which was to actually produce the, the innovation, but the methodology is quite interesting. Uh, the second project, which I think uh, you will have a lot of information here, and also it is on a stand in the hall, is the NERI project. We have found it because uh, there is a partner in Spain who is taking part on this project, so uh, she brings us this initiative. And what we found more interesting is that they are very focusing on the anticipation and reflection process requirements. So I think they are making a lot of workshops and doing a mobilization uh, mutual learning methodology to envisage which kind of future they want uh, with an error enhancement field. One so, minute. Carlos? One minute. Okay. So, then uh, Ibercibis, which is a voluntary computing platform, so it's a window for citizens to participate in research uh, through the internet and the computer. And finally, the Living Lab Sports, which is a living lab focused on sports, as the name say, but uh, who also is very keen on promoting co-creation. So it's not only product validation, but also co-creation of citizens. And it has a very local impact because it is working very closely with uh, Bilbao City Hall. So they are arranging some policies, local policies, and working with uh, local schools to implement well, uh, well-being habits and healthy habits in the population. Yes. Okay. 
And uh, the last uh, two best practices, well, our, the, our community advisory board, which is a community advisory board that we have created in our research centers with CSOs and policy makers to keep on doing uh, participatory governance of our research projects, and Explore Health, with the, which is a European educational program, which is now becoming more RRI through promoting also community participatory research. Thank you, Ruthina.